So now we're gonna look at the direct activation of the steroid molecule. So, so before we talked about how proteins are, steroids are different, right? So steroids, you remember, these molecules are hydro, what? They're hydrophobic. What does that mean? They hate water, right? So usually they love lipids, they're fat, so they're lipophilic molecules. And so unlike the proteins, where a majority of the receptors are on the cell membrane because they cannot cross because of the physical properties of these proteins. Steroids, on the other hand, can easily diffuse through the cell membrane, right? Because remember, cell membrane, what are they made of? It's made of fats. And so what happens is whenever the steroid enters the cytosol, right, it wants to enter the nucleus, right, in order to have some kind of direct gene activation. It must bind to a protein receptor in order to bypass through the nucleus. So what happens here, there's a protein receptor that comes in and binds to the steroids and creates this protein hormone complex, this receptor protein hormone complex here that's created. Now, because of this protein receptor, this can bypass through the nucleus. So it goes through the nuclear envelope and it binds directly into DNA, right? Binding to this DNA leads to the DNA to can be converted to RNA through the process of transcription. And now whenever you have an RNA molecule that's present, you need this RNA molecule to become a protein, right? So the proteins now come in here are not produced necessarily in the nucleus, right? They're, if you remember, they're produced in the cytosol with the ribosomes. So in order to start translation, the RNA molecules are shunted out of the nuclear membrane, right? So the nuclear envelope, and they enter the cytosol where they bind to these little pink molecules here. These are the ribosomes, right? So the ribosomes begin here, and now you have the process of translation, right? So converting RNA to DNA. So eventually now, after this binding takes place, you have these specific proteins that are created in order to respond to any kind of physiological changes that was the reason for this steroid being sent in in the first place. All right, so this is just a basic mechanism of how there's a direct activation of steroid hormones in terms of gene activity, unlike the proteins, right? So proteins had the secondary messengers, right? So they had the primary messenger that binds to the receptor, right, as you remember from before, and triggers a cascade of secondary messenger response.